Hi, I'm Bram. And I'm Coco. And we're here with the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press. And you are? And you are. My name is Loretta Smith, and I'm a documentary filmmaker. Nice to meet you. So we read it wasn't easy to make your film about Ron Kovic, and what kept you going? Um, that's a good question. Um, I guess um, I guess I continue to be inspired by Ron. Um, he never gives up, and he he's really a force of nature. He's an amazing person, and we have a very deep friendship. We've been fr friends for 39 years, <laughs> long before, probably longer than you, yeah. your parents are old even, who knows. Uh, but um, he, and it, it's a very, he has a very rich story. Um, Ron and I grew up around the same time, we're the same age, and our generation went through a horrific war that just tore our generation apart, the war in Vietnam. And the war really polarized young people our age. And if I had met Ron when I was 19 or 20 years old, we probably wouldn't have had anything to talk about because I was, uh, he was a very gung-ho Marine Corps sergeant who really wanted to go to Vietnam and win the war. And I was a committed peace activist. And I was doing everything I could to prevent young men from getting drafted and going to fight in the war in Vietnam. But interesting, our lives kind of converged a few years after the war when we met each other. By that time, Ron had also become an anti-war activist. And uh, he was fiercely committed to trying to stop the war in Vietnam. And so we were on the same page all of a sudden. <laughs> what is a lesson you learned from Ron Kovic? Um, I guess I learned the lesson, don't give up. And. Uh, and also, Ron was inspired by Martin Luther King, uh, who always encouraged people to stand up and to speak out and find a way to get in the way. And uh, Ron has always been able to get in the way. He's, uh, try, he's done militant actions of, non of a nonviolent nature to try to dramatize issues and stop the war machine. And uh, I really respect him for that. Louis Sohoyas, director of The Cove, says films are weapons of mass construction. How do you think film can help you make the world a better place? Well, film is a very powerful medium. It can engage the empathy of people who know nothing about a subject. If you see a well-made film, say, that deals with street children in Bombay, Mumbai, India, or with... Um, gangsters in Brooklyn, a film can create a universe for you for the two hours or so that you're watching the film and enables you to enter another person's life and get a sense of what other people are thinking and feeling. Um, so I, yeah, I like that. I've heard that before, the weapons of mass construction. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Our school every year has a theme, and this year is a, the theme is... Um, the power of story, what is your verse? What do you hope your verse is in um, world peace? Pardon me? What do you hope your legacy will be? My, oh, my legacy? Um, hmm. uh, well, I hope that, uh, that I'll make enough films in my lifetime to influence the way people feel about important social issues and to get a better insight into their humanity. And I'd like to think that along the way, I'm working with younger people and inspiring them to realize their vision and film. That would be a good legacy, I think. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.